Iran is to Russia as Israel is to the United States, in my opinion. Um, so I feel like if, if like what Lindsey Graham really wants to do this, like he is just so ready. But if they, if, if we do something to Iran, that's going to get Russia involved, it would be my fear. And that, that would just be the escalation. And then if you have China and Taiwan happening kind of over there in a separate separate thing going on like it's it, we're we're prime for escalations everywhere everywhere yeah. I, I wonder about how this could play out i mean the u.s is still the most powerful military force i mean how many aircraft carriers do we have we've got i think 11 active strike groups and most other countries have one mm -hmm. so we're we're pretty dang powerful as a nation because it's probably more than just a nation considering but i wonder i mean does russia and china enter this middle eastern conflict under the guise of the u.s is going to cause nuclear war by in you know, and, and, and mass casualties and we have to intervene. What if what if Russia and China decide to prevent U.S. involvement in the conflict entirely? They deploy troops into Syria and and I don't know about Iran, but perhaps I don't know if that would be the most strategic location. Well, wasn't wasn't Israel taking shots at Syria today in Damascus? They were today shooting I mean, at the they, they, uh, it's Iran. Been, it's been like ongoing nonstop in Syria. In, the Israeli strikes on Syria have been happening for a decade. Well, sure, but I mean, just today. There was something specific you saw right. today. Yeah. But, and Lebanon is targeting civilian communities in Israel. I mean, this is... Israel evacuated some of the north, yep. mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, but Biden is going to visit Israel next week. Now, for all those who are sitting on at home being like, like I don't care about war. I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm like, okay, well, you know, your gas prices are going to quadruple. Mm -hmm. You know, six, six $7 gas. Yeah, A too. lot of these people are too young to even remember after 9-11 what happened with the economy and what happened with the mm. gas prices and you know like i don't remember that yeah you don't i wonder how they're, young. how the u.s is gonna no handle i'm this. I, not because i'm young i just i, just, <laughs> I didn't have a car i i only you weren't started, affected by these things yeah mm. I, I i have questions started buying about gas the, three years uh, ago <laughs> i have questions about the people who are currently serving as the marines who will be deployed to this region what are your questions well you know, I have to imagine they're on the younger side, likely Gen Z. Mm -hmm. I doubt they're sending a bunch of 40 year olds, you know, so millennials m like mid to late 30s now on average with some younger millennials down into like, the. I think what you could be late 20s and be millennial, right? Or yeah, no? You can. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think it's mostly going to be Gen Z. So who, who's the kind of person who wants to enlist? right now someone who wants to do a lot of tiktok dances yeah and be filmed You're big on drag queens i've heard this and, argument right now you know. well do you guys know that you can get cosmetic surgeries if you enlist that's so fun that's so cool yeah they'll they'll cut your dick off for you yeah, yeah. they'll do anything there's yeah. an argument someone was like saying if you uh tell the air force that you and your wife are in a dispute because she needs a boob job the air force will be like well to help your marriage this is because i don't know if could that's you imagine telling like roman soldiers that's join true. the army and we can cut your dick off it's for insane. you i mean i think the the i remember this when i was you know graduating high school that uh student loan debt was so crazy that i knew a lot of people who were not interested in military service but said but if i if i enlist i could potentially get it paid for through the gi and i mm. need to go to college to be able to see it and we've seen that argument sort of collapse the last uh, last couple of years enrollments down we know enlistment in the military service is down so ultimately the the very few benefits um to to enlisting in in the army or in any sort of military branch are not as persuasive as they once were my question is um are they going to try and sell it as a rallying point? I mean, after 9-11, we did see a lot of an, an increase in military enlistment. People, go, people saw it as their national duty. And I don't think people feel that sort of patriotic pride right now, especially, you know, do you want to be enlisted under Biden? Probably Definitely not. Definitely not. They've demonized nationalism mm -hmm. completely. Like there's there's nobody. That's why they have a hiring crisis, because a lot of them would be like, I went to the service because my father served and my grandfather served.